I always like this drill. I did a lot of work with this kind of drill back in the day. And uh, unfortunately, these batteries just give it up. So uh, I was cleaning out the garage and I came across this one. I must have bought this guy brand new in hopes of using it in the future, but uh, saving these old nickel cadmium batteries just became cost prohibitive. So I uh, put it away and forgot about it. This battery is stone dead. I can't get it to take a charge anymore. What I want to use is a modern lithium ion battery. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. So there's a little cottage industry has popped up on the internet where guys are making these adapters using their 3D printers and a couple of off-the-shelf uh, spade bits. So I can get that to fit in there. I'm going to put that on here. So uh, this is nice old technology so we should have no trouble hooking this up to this guy. All right, this adapter is pretty neat. It fits a standard lithium ion battery. You can find these on the internet. You go on uh, do a little search for battery adapter. They'll pop up. You can track them down there. So what I want to do is I want to use the top of this old battery to slide into there and then I'm going to hook this onto the top of that. So what we're going to do first is take this battery apart. This uses a uh, Torx head. So you have to be careful even though this battery is dead as a doornail it might have a residual charge in here which could cause a spark which could lead to disaster. So you have to still be careful when you're taking these things apart. It's not going to physically hurt you but like I said it could cause a spark. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need this. We need this. So I will dispose of this properly. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to mate this and this together. I'm going to run these wires right through this nice convenient opening and I want the weight to be as far back as possible. So we're going to set it up like this. And then of course this is going to be permanently mounted. So we'll have that all together and you'll be able to take the battery out. Okay, so we need to take this guy apart next. Number one Phillips head. Torx head for the battery, Phillips head for the screwdriver, go figure. Alright, we have uh, half a dozen screws. And, uh, you just uh, go around the horn. I think they're all loose. There's only uh, five of them. Okay, look at that. Right out of the box. What we're going to do is, we don't need this anymore. We're going to cut these guys. We're going to cut these two and then hook up these two. Red to red, black to black. Should be easy. Okay. Remember, I'm a firm believer that once you buy something, you can do whatever you want with it, within reason. But uh, remember, if you do this any kind of new equipment, you're probably voiding the warranty. So, this thing, they haven't made one of these in years, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, we have to expose a little bit of wire here, and then we're going to put this aside. Okay. 
All right, we're going to put this aside for right now and work on the uh, battery. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of quarter inch plywood, and we're going to mate it onto there, and then mate that onto there like that. Okay, so we have a nice solid bottom. So what you do is you just take your uh, battery cap, put it on your plywood, Okay, that's that. Well, this is going to be too big. It's going to sit on the outside. I want it to sit on the inside. So we're just going to freehand what we think is the uh, width of the wall here. Okay. All right, that's what we got now. We're going to cut this inside line out. Okay, here is our blank. I'm going to use this uh, scroll saw. You can easily cut it out with this hand saw. But uh, I have this scroll saw, so that's what I'm going to use. There you go. Okay, truth be told, this is not the piece that I just showed you that I was cutting out. This is a secondary one. By the time I got done fitting it and all that, it was pretty well mangled up. So I just used the first one as a template and I cut a secondary one. This is the one I'm going to use. As you can see, that fits quite nicely inside there. I drilled these two holes to run my wires through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this to the plywood right now. So we're going to feed these guys right through there. And I'm going to use these small drywall screws to mount this to the plywood. Okay, just for expediency's sake, I'm going to let this go and move on. I'm going to cut these all flush later. Now, I am not going to permanently mount this to here until we get the wiring done. I want it to stay, keep it a little loose so I got some room to play. Okay, we're back in shape here. All right, this guy fits in there, and this is in here. So you can see it. We have to find out where we can put these wires that they'll fit. These guys are a little short, and there's really not enough room. Well, there is room in there. Okay, we're going to just go for it. We'll make them fit. Okay, we're going to use this kind of an adapter. Okay, so. We're going to go black to black and red to red. Okay, you crimp them like that, and you have a nice solid connection. like we have plenty of room in here. Just 
tuck these guys back in there. And we have plenty of room. Okay, we are actually going to assemble this together. Put the body back on. Okay, now the only tricky thing you have to watch out for is this button right here. You have to get that to line up just right. That's a good snap. Okay, we are just going to reassemble this, and I will be back in a second. But I just, I'm just curious to see if what we did actually works. So, new style lithium ion battery mounted to old style nickel cadmium drill. Not too shabby. Row, row. I think I'm going to move this all the way forward. It is the real reason why I went through all this trouble instead of just buying a new drill. Screwdriver in there. Countersinking bit here. One tool option. I wound up screwing this into the meat of the plastic in here. I did, I retained these screws here. I still have to make something, I might just cover this in silicone. And I built a little door out of aluminum to cover this opening. Very happy with it. I think I got a few years left on this paper. 